Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Roman Reigns may relinquish titles through injury, allowing two WWE stars to win them, until he returns for WrestleMania 40, says the legend, exclusive, it is pretty clear that WWE is adamant about continuing Roman Reigns' record-breaking title reign, but Dutch Mantel came up with an exciting idea to make the tribal chief look strong without ever being defeated. It is not going to end anytime soon. Some fans are fed up with Roman Reigns' unbreakable grip over the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, and Dutch Mantel said that violating the storyline could resolve any relevant issues. The legendary manager stated that Roman Reigns could relinquish his title and retain his aura of invincibility, as he would never lose the gold in an official match. And he hasn't even lost. Now, when he comes back, he is like the champion waiting just waiting for the crown to be put on his head. That would be a way to keep him from getting hurt. Mantel believes Roman taking a backseat due to an injury would allow superstars like Cody Rhodes and Gunther to have a deserved reign with the undisputed championship. Dutch would love to see Gunther win the vacant title first before Cody wins him over from the Empire leader. The American Nightmare could then face off against a returning Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. And that would give my boy Gunther he can get the title, then Cody can get it from him, which uplifts Cody a little more, and puts Roman back in the herd that can work. I think they re-bringing everyone in it moving forward. I think they re-promoting Gunther, they re-promoting Cody, and this is probably the next WrestleMania. They can do it again. Solo Sikoa and Paul Heyman two of his fellow bloodlines with whom he is still on good terms, were also acquired by SmackDown attention, then shifted to the Usos to whom Heyman gave an ultimatum, that they be for the tag in their rematch team would fail championship they could be from the bloodline. The former ECW boss even had a private chat with Solo Sikoa, which fueled speculation about the future of the stable. Unfortunately for Jimmy and Jey Uso they were able to